All right, so many of you guys wanted some more information about some of the things that were going on with this inverter from Rododo, and I agree. I think there was definitely some things that I missed in uh, the original video because my attention kind of got diverted onto the chirping that we were experiencing. So I've reset everything back up, and I've also installed a shunt, and I've got the batteries fully charged. We are also going to monitor the temperatures in here with a thermal camera and then i've got a kilowatt meter plugged in over here so we can get an idea of what the power factor is so let's go ahead and just plug the ac back in yeah it is pretty it is not great 0.78 is considered pretty bad i'm gonna turn it on high yeah so it looks like 0.78 You'd think a modern piece of uh, equipment like this inverter AC would be better than that, right? My goodness. And the shunt's saying we are pulling 82 amps from the battery. I'm seeing like 11, a little over 1100 watts. And then we're seeing about 1000 watts on, on the inverter screen. Okay, so we started chirping again. Let's take a look if anything's changed. So the power factor actually went, got a little bit better. It's, well, 0 0.80. But definitely the thing that's constant here is that we've gone over the 1100 watts. That's what happened last time when we started chirping. And the chirping is coming from that little, that little speaker right there. So let's break out the, uh, let's break out the thermal camera. Yeah, so we are seeing that these Eight gauge wires here are, are definitely warmer a little bit than these. There's four eight gauge wires here that we're seeing 42.8 Celsius. And the ones internal, we're seeing 50, 55. Doesn't really appear to be anything in here scorching hot. And so we're pulling a little over 100 amps from the battery so 55 C would be 131 Fahrenheit and I can see that the wire the insulation rating on this wire is 105 Celsius so we haven't we haven't exceeded it yet but also we're only doing a little over 100 amps All right, I'm gonna turn this AC off that's just driving me crazy all right, so the power factor pretty much ended up at 0 0.80. And it it really stayed at like 0 0.79, 0 0.80 pretty much the whole time. So that's not the thing that changed that made the chirping start. The chirping starts after we go over 1100 watts. Let's plug in the heater to this and see what the power factor is with the heater. All right, the heater's plugged in. We're on low. The power factor with the heater is really good. I guess that makes sense, right? It's like 0 0.99. All right, let's see what the power factor of this leaf blower is. All right, let's try this induction cooktop right here. All right, so yeah, its power factor is pretty great too. I'm showing 0 0.99. So that's yeah, pretty, pretty good. Pulling, uh, 1100 over 1100 watts let's crank it up a little bit more on level five so we're doing over 1200 watts our power factor is great on this thing so maybe that's what it is maybe it's just power factor really is horrible on the ac uh we're pulling uh 120 amps from the batteries 1500 watts you know, those wires are so far, they're doing fine in there. I mean, I haven't seen them go past 55 Celsius. Let's see, is there a hot spot there? No, 50, 55. All right, so I'm just going to remove this out of the equation. Right, I'm going to run the induction cooktop, and I'm going to plug in the heater to see if we can just max this thing out. All right, so we're pulling over the 2,000 watt limit right now. And so let's take a look at our shunt. We're pulling 280, actually. And we're pulling uh, 
196 amps I just saw. Let's see what our temps are in here. I'm seeing those wires get up to 68 now. Yeah, so we're still doing over 2,000 watts, and it's not complaining. I feel like I should turn it down just a little bit. So we're doing 1862. Let's see if we can get closer to 2,000. That's too much. I think 1855 is the closest I can get to 2,000 without going over. Because if I go up one more, yeah, I'm going over. But it's taking it. It's doing over. It's doing 85 watts over. Fine. So let's just go right below it. Okay, I think it's shut down. Yeah, we overdid it. I mean, these wires are, are hot to the touch. The insulation feels softer but it's not melting. All right, so I let this thing cool down for a while and it's showing voltage, uh, AC voltage again. Let's see if we can start our test up again and just not go over. Okay, we're getting 640 watts from the heater. Let's try the induction cooktop again. Okay, so we're showing 1522 go up a little bit here okay now I think 18 around 1840 1850 is about as high as I can change the settings on this stuff if I go one more notch on this then I'm over the 2000 mark so I'm just gonna let it let it run a little bit like this uh, the other thing I kind of realized by having this cover off it's not cooling properly because the fans are supposed to you know draw in air from this side and then channel it through those heat sinks and then out this side I'm gonna leave it on just for real quick I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna show you guys something that I just noticed I can see it where it says 2500 watts <laughs> I just thought that was kinda neat so is this a 25 actually a 2500 watt inverter that's just been you know underrated to 2000 I mean, we definitely were going over 2,000 for a bit. And so we're pulling 165 amps from the battery. Let's see, I wonder if I can change. Let me try to change, switch the heater out to something else to see if we can get closer to 2,000 watts. I removed the heater and I hooked up the heat gun. And I was able to get up to 1,888 watts. That's a little closer. And so now we're pulling like 173, I just saw, 174, about 170, about 170 amps, roughly. Yeah, we are boiling that water. <laughs> All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna put the thermal camera back on. And we're going to lift this lid up to see what our thermals look like in there. There's our pan. So there's the uh, wires going to the inverter. We're seeing about 73 right there by the terminals. And then 61 on the wires right here. And then inside here, I'm seeing 109 Celsius on the board where one of the positive wires attaches to the board. But I'm, I'm only seeing 78 Celsius on the wires themselves. So we might be, are we heating? Let's turn something down. I think leaving this lid off it is gonna get it, is gonna allow it to overheat. 
So I just I just turned it off. But I think, like I said, I think leaving this lid off, you know, it's not cooling properly. Uh, the fans are just basically, <laughs> they're just sucking air right here in and out. It's not dragging the air across all these heat sinks here. But anyways, these wires aren't melting. You know, we did see it get into the upper 70s, you know, Celsius. And it's still leaving us some room. You know, it does say 105 right there. And it is hot outside here in Texas. So let's see, you know, we're 101 in this area right here. Uh, so yeah, one thing we could actually do is run this AC on high on this inverter. So let's do that and see how well, see if it can handle it. All right, so this Leesky 1500 watt inverter has been running this AC on max for about 10 minutes. And there's no, it's not crying at all. It's showing 940 watts being used through this. Whereas on max, we were showing over 1100 watts on this guy. This inverter can do it. This one doesn't quite like it. All right, so moving back to this thing, I almost forgot. I know you guys will want to see this. I've got the kilowatt set to watts. So we're showing 580 watts coming out and to see if it's close to what it says on its display of the inverter, it's showing 597. So real close, I think you can pretty much trust this display. I guess right now I'm kind of curious what the power factor looks like with this AC connected to this inverter. All right, so this thing has just been running on this inverter for 20 plus minutes uh, on max. It's been running longer than it was running on this before this started chirping. Uh, the one thing I noticed on this inverter is it's never, the power on this AC has never gone over a thousand watts. So it's always stayed below a thousand watts. You know, it's just as hot outside as it was a few hours ago, if not hotter. Now our power factor still is not great. You know, we're at 0.78. So the power factor sucks either way. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.